wearing my dark things. <laughs> I am doing a Christmas makeup look and I don't know what I'm doing so I'm just gonna wing it and you'll see how disgusting my eyebrows are and how badly they need to be threaded <laughs> and how bad my acne is <laughs> and how bad the bags under my eyes are. But anyway, now that we've got all of that out the way, I'm gonna be starting with foundation and it is Rimmel Lasting Finish, the red one. <laughs> I don't wear face primer or anything because I ain't got money. <laughs> also, my hair looks very disgusting. I need my roots done and it looks greasy. I'm applying this foundation with my beauty blender, which is in dire need of being washed. Look how monkey that is. <laughs> I do about mm, two pumps. Or oh, one and a bit, and then I just see how much I need from there. I don't really know how to do makeup, but someone insisted that I do a makeup look. <laughs> Gemma. <laughs> the day has been about three hours long so far because I woke up at 11 and got up at 12. Because I got woken up in the night by my sister taking a bath at 5am. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> don't know what else to say. <laughs> and the next product I'm going to be using is my concealer, which is Revlon Colour Stay. <laughs> I apply it under my eyes to cover my horrific bags. Nelly's eating my makeup wipe. And then I put it over my manky, disgusting, grotesque spots. You really sum yourself. <laughs> I know, I love myself. <laughs> and then I blend it in with the same beauty blender that I did my foundation with. I've been wearing makeup every day for like the past week and I'm sick of it. <laughs> I hate putting makeup on. Hey, you can't say that in a makeup <laughs> video. Oh my god, I just got nearly spill my <laughs> Oh. Okay, so the next thing I use is powder to set everything. I don't know if it works, but hey ho. And I use Stay Matte by Rimmel, and it is number five in Silky Beige. And there we go, and then I just put it all over my nose. <laughs> and when I do my foundation, I bring it down to my neck. It doesn't probably make it blend in or anything, but it's better than just having orange and white. <laughs> I don't think my foundation really matches my skin tone as much as it probably should. <laughs> Ugh, fucking hell, I'm doing. I'm so positive in this video. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The next thing I um, apply is my blusher, and it is Gosh Cruelty Free with my Bitten Blusher Brush. <laughs> Thanks to Nelly chewing it up. Next, I use my highlighter, which is Revolution. That one. Beautiful. Oh, right, I need the bloody mirror. I was going to do it just staring at the camera. I don't really know how to apply a highlighter, so, so I just put it on, really. Beautiful. Next. I've only recently added this into my makeup routine. Is bronzer. Honestly, I haven't got a clue how to use it. Probably using it wrong. Looks disgusting. This is also Revolution. I've only just realised now that I use a lot of Revolution stuff. <laughs> and the brushes that I've been using, besides my uh, blusher one, is these, which is all real techniques. Which I'm bloody lucky to have. I have to admit. So, I don't know how to use this, so I just do, I don't know, I do this. <laughs> She's making me laugh behind the camera. <laughs> Looks disgusting, I know. Mate, <laughs> people need to be following these things to get inspiration. You're like, fuck this. <laughs> look better on other people that can actually do makeup but I'll just go with it. <laughs> what do you do for your makeup looks? <laughs> I just want to know because I might have some inspiration you could tell me if I'm doing anything wrong probably everything um, and you can give me advice on what to do and what to add into my makeup routine and stuff and yeah if you know any foundations that would actually match my skin tone please tell me. <laughs> do you normally go for simple makeup looks? Do you go all out? 
Do you wear makeup every day? Do you not? Do you not wear makeup at all? Answer me down below in the comments if you want. Oh yeah, and I doubt okay because I'm going bald. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been told I have a receding hairline, so I kind of just like blend it into my receding hairline. Right, so next I do my monstrosity of the eyebrows. Um, I use Revlon eyeshadow, which is probably weird, I don't know. And I use the darkest one. It doesn't Wait, the really... darkest one? Yeah. The darkest one. It doesn't really match my eyebrow colour, but it's better than the other ones. Because <laughs> I don't want bloody white eyebrows. Um, and I use this brush, which I got for Crimbo last year. Which is like, you brush the eyebrows out, you fill them in. And my eyebrows are uneven. People say they're meant to be sisters, not twins. They're not even sisters. Well, not cousins. <laughs> and they are bushy AF. <laughs> and there's still like eyeshadow in them because I said I've been doing my makeup. Oh, sorry. I said sorry to my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> to, um, what did I say? <laughs> You've been doing makeup every day. Oh yeah, I've been doing my makeup every day, so I've still got like residue of this crap in it. Don't know what I do. I go underneath, all on about the bottom. This eyeshadow is about three years old, <laughs> probably. So is mine, probably. So it's not very pigmented or good or anything. I don't really use my that eyeshadow for my eyes, which is weird, but oh well. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. It is Wednesday today, and we are on the 5th of December, the 6th no. of December, the 5th of December. I don't know. I don't know. What am I? I told you they are long lost cousins. <laughs> They are awful. <laughs> no one look at my eyebrows. I should probably just bloom and shave them off and let them grow back again. So, Gemma Louise Agnes Nicole Worrell got me <laughs> this for Christmas last year or my birthday. I can't remember. I can't remember either. And it is Revolution. This is my base coat. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I normally use that as a base coat for any eyeshadow I do anyway. So let's get on with that. This is my eyeshadow brush, or one of them, to do the base coat anyway. <laughs> um, also from this palette that Gemma got me, I always use this makeup, this eyeshadow brush, because it's small and perfect and can get in all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> and I bought this... <coughs> and then I bought this the other day. Um, and it is MUA Makeup Academy Academy <laughs> Academy Professional, and I just bought it because it's got like ow ow open crimbo colours. They're all sparkly, but when they go on my eyeballs, they're not that sparkly. So I don't know how this makeup looks gonna go. Okay, this is very gradual. I never know what I'm doing with my eyeshadow, so just bear with me. You can just do the eyeshadow however you normally do your eyeshadow and you can probably do the look so much better than me. But this is just my normal everyday look so at the moment. Or this month so far. Oh. Oh mate. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't do one eye at a time. I normally do two eyes at once. <laughs> With my six hands. Because <laughs> I'm an alien. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. How can you not do one eye at a time? What? I'm confused. What, so you have a brush in each hand and do them like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. Oh. That joke made no sense, so that flop. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh god, Gemma, I look a state. You don't? It's pretty. So for the, the darker colour, I used that one, and then I'm going in the corner here with the lighter one. I feel like a proper beauty guru. I know. And then I use the darker colour that I used over here originally and I put it on the outer corner of my under eye. On both eyes obviously. And the lighter colour that I used on the inner corner I go on the inner bit of my under eye. 
I don't know technical terms, so solve. And just because it brightens up the eyes a little bit, um, I use this. Yeah, that's fine. This whiter colour. Oh, I used the wrong brush, but oh well. <laughs> and I go on the very inner corner, and I use the wrong brush, so it looks awful. And then you just blend like that, and it'll be. Yeah, I like that. Jesus Christ, I went wrong. And then the same for this one. You don't have to do that though, I just do that because I want to spice things up a bit. Gets a bit boring doing the same old, same old every day. Next thing I do is my eyeliner, <laughs> which I can't do under pressure. Uh, I use Rimmel London Glam Eyes in black. And then it's like that, very thin. I normally do a winged look, so I'm going to speed this bit up because I don't know what I can't speak when I'm doing this, and it's going to go so wrong. <laughs> anyway, we ignore that. I have only gone and smudged the eyeliner on the top of my eyelid. <laughs> when the bloody eyeshadow comes off, <laughs> reapply it. <laughs> this is a working progress because shit goes wrong so you need to fix it all the time and you and that goes for anything in life hashtag deep hashtag quote <laughs> hashtag like for like i'm joking i don't even look at my eyeliner <laughs> normally it goes half decent but oh god everything was just going wrong today because I had Gemma threatening to take pictures of me and the next thing I put on is my mascara and it is my max factor oh my god I can't speak and it is black not brown or blue or whatever other colours there are black I don't wear fake eyelashes but I'm really considering getting into them a little bit occasionally. I mean, do you like going out a lot? Do you party or club or whatever? Or do you just go out with your friends or on your own? Or do you stay at home like me and just lounge about and chill out? <laughs> Watch YouTube and Netflix and... And film YouTube videos. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> I think my mascara can actually cover up the fact that my eyeshadow, my eyeliner looks terrible but I ain't doing that today. <laughs> I don't normally wear lipstick at all, only when I'm filming. So the lipstick that I do use, I only have one lipstick that I probably use, is, I don't know what this is from, Colour Rich Matte 640 Erotic. Uh, but yeah, it's 640 and then it, it's, the what, it's not. Got a lot, um, um. <laughs> it hasn't got a lot left because this is the one that I used for prom two years ago, so it's still going. It's probably a bit manky to be using this after two years, isn't it? Uh... <laughs> 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 it's awful. <laughs> so on top of my lipstick, because it's basically the same colour as this Vaseline, I use this pink Vaseline, which is a little bit pigmented. Oh, that's my favourite smell. And just dab it over the top. I don't know why, in case it works all in it so far. And then it gives it more colour and it makes it look shiny. It does it. It's really pretty. So I now look like a clown with wonky eyeliner, terrible eyelashes, patchy foundation, and me. Horrible <laughs> eyeshadow. It's fine. But this is my finished Christmas. You have to be really quick at dying. Makeup look, and it looks awful. But if you want to try it, then send me pictures on in on our Instagram, which is linked down below, and show me your final look. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and have fun recreating it if you want to. But it looks really bad, so I don't it blame looks beautiful. <laughs> I don't blame you if you don't want to, but oh well. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so subscribe, like and comment down below and i will see you with another video the day after tomorrow bye <laughs>